beautiful Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for April 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details, and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Pisces. The new moon is in Aries on the 1st of April, which signals the start of new beginnings. So you'll feel that fresh energy and start setting intentions and get a little bit extra energy level to go higher. You may also feel a little bit more spontaneous than usual and have that courage and passion and high drive to implement any changes in your world in order to go after what you truly dream of, okay? Also, we have the full moon in Libra on the 16th of April, and that's all about balance, love, harmony and refinement. So um, you also um, get a little boost of good karma coming your way uh, to readdress the balance and get justice for the things that you truly deserve in your life. Also, around about this time, you may feel like detoxing because this energy does sort of um, help with uh, people setting intentions to have healthier um, beauty routines, sleep patterns, uh, also healthier boundaries, uh, implementing new diets or exercise routines as well. So um, that uh, may be something that you feel called to do around about the 16th of April. Now we have two moons, uh, two new moons uh, in the month of April. Uh, on the 30th of April, we also have a new moon eclipse in Taurus, and that is all about values. How you value yourself and how you uh, value the things in your life and also, uh, they want me to go one more, so I will. And also the people that you surround yourself as well. So that it can also be a time where you focus on your money. Uh, but it is a time where you look at things that perhaps are also breaking down in your world that you no longer need in your life and you find it easier to let those things go okay you really sort of face the truth and decide it's time it's time to set those baggages down okay or that baggage down now i'm just going to get your um overall energy before we um start the reading um now what does it mean for you well your second house of values is also starred at the beginning of the month so you may be looking at your money um and uh, the most important thing though is how you value yourself Okay, getting what you truly deserve, getting a really good deal, uh, implementing um, balance and harmony in all relationships that you feel that you're giving and taking um, as well in equal measure. I know life doesn't really work like that, but if you, you know, we've all got that one friend that we give and we give and we give our time to that person and our love and our care and, you know, uh, they never find it within themselves to give back. So you may be looking at readdressing the balance in that sort of aspect. Same with career. If you feel like you're not actually um, happy with what you're getting, um, it may be time to sort of look at uh, other options in order to get what you truly deserve. Also your eighth house, uh, which is also starred, that's from the 16th of April. That's again about transforming your finances. So you'll be paying bills or getting really organized in uh, you know, sorting out your money, but also trying to capitalize and make more money. So some of you may uh, be called to take a second stream of income, for example, or make your money uh, work better for you. So being really resourceful. Your third house is activated right at the end of the month, on the 30th of April, and that's about communication. It's also about learning, education, and uh, you know, uh, sometimes quick trips. Uh, you may be called to take a vacation around about this time, or really take a step back and have some time for you, okay? So you may feel that 
kind of energy as you move through the month. Now, your first card here is joy. So this is about optimism. Um, and it says, as I do will, so mote it be. Let joy and light radiate from me. So everything you do, um, they're actually giving me um, an energy here. I just want to, wherever you are, be the soul of that place, they just said to me. Wherever you are, be the soul of that place. Because it's almost like be your wonderful, authentic self wherever you may be. Because you can never, if you're, for example, if you're at work and you really don't love your work, you're just paying the bills and you're on autopilot, it's kind of like still be the soul of that place because you cannot be anywhere else, okay? We can all dream and visualize that we're somewhere else, but the reality is if we live in the moment, we're exactly where we're meant to be in that moment. So I feel like it's wherever you are, be the soul of that place. Allow yourself to come alive and be your wonderful, authentic self because when you sort of shine that energy, even in jobs, you know, and we've all got those sort of jobs that we think, mm, you know, we're just paying the bills and we, we don't really want to invest in that. I mean, if you're lucky, you're on your soul path, but we've all experienced a, a moment in our life where we're just getting by in a, a position, for example. I feel like you have more opportunity to change your circumstances the more optimistic you are about where you're at in this present moment. Also, um, I feel this is about you. I just get this energy of you being really curious about something from this card. Um, As I do will, so mote it be. So I feel like, it, like that's sort of oldie English kind of um, spell for, um, you know, the more you do well, the more joy you, you experience and therefore the joy then attracts more good times. It's like a, a never ending cycle that I'm seeing right now. They're actually showing me like a, um, a circle and it's got three arrows. Uh, so it's one, two, Three, it's like a, a circle of arrows uh, they're showing me that go round. I mean, it's, they're trying to indicate a cycle to me, but this could be a symbol that you're looking at right now. Perhaps you've got a tattoo that has uh, three arrows as a symbol. So please take it as it resonates. It's not gonna resonate for everyone. It may be something that you're going to see over the month of April that allows you to see um, how your optimism plays a part in um, what you create in your world. Uh, but there is uh, obviously some something to be uh, excited about coming on in April. Now we will go a little bit deeper and find out, but your overall energy, uh, we got the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess and the Lover's card here. So <clears throat> I really feel that there is, you're attracting some sort of luck or something into your world that you're, you've been trying to achieve for a while. You're aligning yourself with your intentions. Now we've also got organization. So as I said, we've got that uh, eighth house uh, activated for you. So organization is definitely on uh, point. It says purpose planning efficiency now come to me so easily. So if you're not someone who uh, tends to plan things, you may feel a little bit more organized in the month of April. And I feel this is about you getting everything in order because you're about to receive uh, some sort of opportunity or lucky break that you need to be prepared for because it's going to surprise you. So it's when, you know, preparation meets luck. I feel like you've got an, an overall successful outcome here. Um, and it's number 42. They want me to be aware it's number 42. When you reduce it, four plus two is six, the number of the of the lovers. You've got the, the lovers there. Now the lovers doesn't always have to be about love. It can be about you matching the vibration of something that you feel you're trying to attract. Okay, so on a grassroots level, it is about um, looking at your place in the world and becoming aware of what you truly desire and attracting it to you. So I feel like that is definitely something you're doing in the month of April. We've also got destiny. So the fact that we've got destiny and fortune's wheel, this really indicates that you are on point, you're on track with something, okay? Um, it says, all that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be shown. So the path will become clear. You will be aware that you are on the right track, that you are um, you're on the right path to success. This could be your destiny. It's number eight, which is the number of the self. So this is about you recognizing your life's purpose and, you know, implementing routines, um, healthy boundaries, for example, or, you know, if you want to be successful, um, basically, I feel repetition is important. So again, this could be those, the, those three arrows that I'm seeing in the water, they're arising again. So perhaps it's about something about repetition. 
Um, the more you do something, the more you get good at it, you master it, okay? So this could be, you know, um, helping you move forward. Something that you've been doing for a while uh, helps you move forward in your career or in love. Uh, we will go deeper and find out what's going on there. Uh, we've also got friendship and it says, bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. So, um, you know, I do get this energy of you feeling you want to reconnect with friends that you haven't seen from a while, for a while. Uh, I, I just get this, I feel like you're looking for a boost of energy from a different space. So it's almost like you may see your friends day to day, your usual friends, your soul tribe, uh, people you work with, but I feel like you're wanting, the energy I'm getting is that you're wanting in April to feel a boost of energy from someone you haven't seen for a while, for example. You know those friends that you can reconnect to after about 10 years and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been so long, and you slip right back on into friendship. I feel like you're going to be craving something like that over April, or one of your friends from a long time ago is going to reach out with that card, okay? Um, and I feel like it's gonna be a really good time when you, you meet uh, this person. Uh, we will, as I said, go deeper and find out what's coming towards you. I'm gonna do a Celtic cross, but this is your protagonist energy, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, a lot of signs, especially the water signs, have got the um, Wheel of Fortune as their protagonist energy. So I feel like you're in the flow. You're actually making your own luck. Also, the Wheel of Fortune is a cycle of repeat. You know, it is, um, we, we're on the wheel of life, basically. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. And I feel like the universe is sort of airlifting you out of a situation or a pattern that you may have felt like you're in repeat. So I feel there is an element here of you recognizing your destiny and having a lucky break that turns out perfectly. Um, it's like, Either you're taking a gamble or taking a risk in some area of your life, you're taking a leap of faith and it pays off perfectly because this card indicates that you are making your own luck and you're meeting the universe half, you know, halfway as it were. I feel like your destiny, it becomes really um, shown to you as it were. I just keep getting this energy of the path becomes clear. The path becomes clear. They actually give me a song right now, okay? Okay, um, I am a bird. Um, in a cage. I sang for freedom. I. Oh, I can't, I can't get grasp the, the 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 rest of that actually. Um, and then it goes. Oh oh oh. Okay. Um, now this song sounds really familiar, so perhaps it came up about a couple of years ago or something, but I can't really place it right now. Um, oh, they're actually showing me a wand. Okay, so perhaps this is inspiration. Perhaps you feel uh, you've been caged for so long or you feel like you've been in a cycle of repeat for a long time. You feel um, you want to be free or you want to free yourself. Perhaps you've been in that um, mundane kind of habit. Um, and you feel like you want to shake up that energy. Freedom. I sang for freedom. I can't, yeah. I, it keeps repeating, but I can't grasp the last bit. I'm, I do apologize. They showed me a wand as well. It's interesting because it's not like a wand that you would see on um, one of the tarot decks. It's like one of those magical wands. It's almost like someone's like doing a, you know, like, you know those magicians, that they're like casting like a little sort of spell type thing on TV. They're like um, abracadabra kind of thing. They've shown me that. So I'm not really sure what that is meant to mean. Either you are someone who practices magic or perhaps you are, uh, you're watching a magician show. Maybe you got tickets to that or maybe you're watching a magic show on TV right now as you're listening to this reading. Uh, perhaps you just heard that song that if you know what it is, I'm gonna have to look it up to be honest. Um, if you know what that song is and it just played for you before this reading, then there's definitely something in this message for you, or it may play after the reading. I'm going to have to look up the lyrics and see how it resonates with your reading, but I just get this energy of wanting to inject new energy into life, okay? Um, and there will be some. You may have felt like you're in like a cocoon where you're just 
just in that flow of going to work, getting up in the morning. Uh, th there's something here that's going to surprise you uh, in April that actually puts a big old smile on your face is what they're giving me. Uh, now, because if I look at all of this, I feel like there is someone here who actually secretly has feelings for you. Uh, this is not meant to be a love reading, my beautiful Pisces. This is the monthly uh, reading. Um, but I feel like this is there's some sort of surprise here that aligns you with your heart's desire. So uh, it may also be to do with career, but we'll, we'll, we'll go and have a look. But the Wheel of Fortune is a lucky turn of events where destiny and fate meet each other head on. And I feel like uh, Fortune's Wheel brings you a lot of prosperity in the month of April, uh, especially since we've got Jupiter um, making itself very well known. It is a benevolent planet of expansion and opportunity. We've also got the High Priestess. It's in the resistance position. So I feel like some sort of lucky break or some sort of success that comes your way, you keep it to yourself. I feel like also I get an energy here of you. You know when things go really well, my beautiful Pisces? Uh, it's like sometimes I'm getting an energy here of you mistrusting it. It's almost like, huh, things are going too well right now. Where's where's the bit that goes wrong? Okay, so I feel with that here, um, you may be... You may be surprised at how well April goes. You're kind of like waiting for the moment that all, something goes wrong. Uh, but let, let's go deeper and find out what that means. The High Priestess is all about using your intuition. Um, and I feel if you've been a little bit disconnected recently or you felt like you've been holding back in some area of your life or you felt completely um, oppressed in some way, um, I feel like you're going to gain that freedom. Um, this could be you being silent on something because the High Priestess, she doesn't speak. So she has mystical vision. So it could also be that uh, some sort of psychic flash or some sort of vision that you've had for a long time uh, suddenly appears, comes true in uh, the month of April and aligns you with your heart's desire, okay? Um, the High Priestess in this position is like, I got it in the reverse. So you may have felt moments of feeling really blocked in your intuition or clouded, or you felt really confused about um, your, your journey um, maybe you don't trust you didn't trust the unknown you may have felt like the universe was not on your side in some way April is going to really show you uh, that there is a positive shift now I've been saying this to every um, sign that when I was doing the yearly readings uh, for the collective every uh, reading I did uh, the tower came out for April and June. So as I'm reading April now, uh, collectively, I feel there is some sort of world event that, uh, you know, there will be a tower energy that goes on there. Tower, as I said, doesn't always have to be a huge shock, but it can be. Uh, it can be a chance to rebuild. So if there's some sort of stalemate energy going on, it can mean that there is a chance to rebuild. But you've got a wheel of fortune. So I feel like in your personal uh, April, uh, this is something that's going to be very, very positive. Um, but uh, we've got the lover's card here as well, which is about choice. It is a personal decision. So I feel like an opportunity just pops out of nowhere, which gives you something really to think about. And the lover's card is about you aligning yourself with your heart's desire based on the choices that you have. So you may be having an open dialogue with yourself in April, re-examining your motives and your values for what you do and what you contemplate that you would like to do in the future, which path to take. And I feel it's interesting because the lover's card... I mean, I feel like you're engaging your heart and then you're speaking your heart to life. I feel like that's, you're actually implementing a vision that you have. And they really want me to show you, okay, thank you so much, I'm so grateful. They really want me to show you the lover's card in the uh, the, the traditional Rider Waite Tarot. Um, can you please guide me to the lover's card? There we go, thank you so much. Um, so they're indicating here um, that so we've got the two figures here, um, and you know, whilst they, you know, the lover's card can represent love, of course, a romantic love or soulmate attraction. Uh, the masculine figure actually represents uh, the sort of conscious mind, and the feminine uh, in the card actually represents the subconscious mind. And then we've got the spiritual mind uh, that is represented by uh, Angel Raphael up here, uh, and we have the sun, which is like source. So I feel like this is about you. Um, sort of, you cannot connect straight to source with this card. It's like a, a triangle. Again, it's like these three arrows that are going around in, in a circle. So it's almost like 
in order to connect to source, you have to uh, go towards your subconscious mind. I don't know why they want me to explain this to you like this, but this is what they're trying to do. So perhaps you're trying to get with meditation, uh, with that high priestess in some way, you're trying to um, have faith and trying to connect to source in some way. They're indicating that uh, the logical conscious mind cannot quite connect. You have to uh, go to the subconscious mind first in order to try and connect to source. Um, so I feel like there's something you're wrestling with here, some sort of decision point. And if you're trying not to make the wrong decision, uh, I feel like you can never make the wrong decision as long as your intuition is engaged there. Uh, but I feel like you will find uh, the answers that you need. Uh, it's all within you. Um, the universe is a benevolent force, but I feel it's about cutting out the distractions, okay? Because the human mind, you know, it's, it's got ego and all of those things in there. Um, the, the conscious mind is all is very self-aware, but it is also very self-conscious, as it were. So we always worry about making the wrong decision. But when you connect with the subconscious mind, so you may be experiencing a lot of dreamscapes or downloads in your dreams, um, that's when we connect to our real hopes and wishes and things like that. So you may be having some sort of experience like that in the month of April. I know that's a little bit out there. I don't know, I never get downloads like that from uh, when I'm scrying. So that's very precise to somebody out there who may be trying to connect to uh, meditation or trying to connect to their uh, inner wisdom, their innate knowledge, their mystical vision or mystical wisdom in some way. Um, I feel like silence, Meditation is the best way to connect uh, to source and find the answers that you need, just so you're aware. Um, the lover's card is about aligning yourself with what you truly desire, okay? It's a partnership, not just um, with, it's like partnership with your head and your mind and your heart uh, and, you know, with what you truly desire. Also, I feel like you're exploring your options with this card. Um, now, I feel like there's a oneness here. So I just feel like there's this cycle where what you think about, you truly bring about. Uh, that came up in the Cancerian reading earlier. So uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, if I was reading this, basically I would say, okay, suddenly you find out that someone has feelings for you. Okay, that's what you know, the, at grassroots that could all mean there. Or it could be suddenly an opportunity that you've been secretly wishing for for a long time completely matches your frequency and aligns with the physical plane and it shows up all of a sudden in your world. So let's go and see what uh, they want you to talk about or what you, they want you to know about in the month of April. I'm doing a Celtic cross. I'm using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot um, and I'm only reading the uprights in this deck. So we got the two of wands, you're in that waiting phase, but it's interesting, uh, we got the two of cups here, so the, I mean some of you could be waiting for love, uh, I will read love, I don't normally uh, in the monthlies, but uh, I will read love because it's showing up as the two of cups, but the two of cups, um, when you take love and career out of the, the equation, it's about aligning yourself with your heart's connection or your heart's desire, uh, whatever it is you're trying to achieve, uh, it's about matching the vibration to bring it in, to manifest it. Um, now, I'm just gonna get all your cards first before I uh, do your reading. Thank you so much for it, guide of angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Okay. Um, can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? We've got the Magician card, beautiful. Uh, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. And we have the King of Cups. Okay, so, oh, they want me to go one more. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is about um, either a love for what you do and, you know, being financially recompensed for it in a very fair way um, and about walking away from anything that you feel is... Um, not applicable to your life's journey. Uh, we've got the Two of Wands here. Now the Two of Wands is an ambitious card. It actually can connect to a, a planning stage, as it were. So you may be mapping your progress, how far you've come, where you are right now, and looking at where you wanna be in the future, engaging uh, really deeply in the process of envisaging something new. But you may feel like you're waiting for results or you're having to wait in order to uh, wait for the right moment to move forward. Um, this card actually is 
the universe aligning you to bring you what you need, but you may not be aware of it. I feel like behind the scenes, the universe is bringing what you have been manifesting all along, okay? And it's really interesting because, uh, as you can see, we've got this figure here, and this figure's got the world in their hand, and your advice to yourself is the world. So it's like, wait for the right moment to uh, get the success, or, you know, Wait for the right moment to enter a new cycle because the world represents new cycles. It also represents, um, you know, accomplishment, completion, satisfaction, reward. So I feel like you're waiting for something really rewarding to come along. Um, and I feel like you're holding out for the best option with that world card. Uh, this card is about fulfillment and, and as I said, uh, success. So I feel like you're waiting for that successful moment, uh, but you have the world in your hands. So they want you to be aware that you can um, you can do whatever it is you set out to do, okay? Uh, when waiting for the right moment is important, the two the two of wands can be like a pause where you expect something to show up in your world, or you are waiting for some sort of news before you can move forward, or perhaps you're designing what your next move is uh, before you take the next step. Um, I mean, we got two twos here, so uh, we're already seeing numerical synchronicity, especially since you got a Wheel of Fortune there. Uh, double two will be important in your month of April. I mean, it could be that something arrives on the 2nd or the 22nd of April. Uh, we will clarify in a moment. I mean, the Two of Cups is about matching a frequency for something that you want. Uh, as I said, I will... Uh, apply it to love in a moment, but I'm trying to apply it uh, to your situation um, right now. This is about duality, okay? This can be an agreement of uh, you uh, waiting for some sort of agreement or contract to come on in before you can, um, you know, step into a new position, for example. Um, the Two of Cups can be uh, about a partnership in some way. It doesn't have to be a romantic partnership. It can be a business partnership. Um, perhaps you're wondering whether you should um, connect to somebody because we got a lot of pentacles here as well. It could be a financial offer that is coming on in here. And uh, you're wondering, is it right for you? Okay, so you may be weighing up your options as to whether something is right for you. Uh, also, the Two of Cups is about friendship, reciprocity, getting a good deal, you know, putting all your energy and your love and your care and your um, dedication into a either your career or into a friendship and getting a fair outcome so that people are meeting you in reciprocity okay i feel this is a challenge position because i feel uh, an energy of disappointment so i feel uh, you've had a lot of disappointment my beautiful pisces and i feel you've been waiting for something to change now um you may also have felt a little bit of lack of motivation or drive you may have felt a little bit disinterested in something that you used to love doing and you may be feeling a little bit like lost or a little bit like um worried that like why have i lost that sort of boost of energy you're going to get that back in april uh, a lot of signs went through that lull of energy that dip in energy for what they used to love doing so you may uh, actually reconnect to your passion for something that you um used to do because we have uh, the two of cups cups are all about dreams goals and things like that uh, things that you're trying to achieve things that you really care about that you put a lot of emotion into um, what is below you we've got the six of cups so that is a return card okay it is a return to the good old days but it can be a nostalgic card so you may be looking back I mean, some of you may be waiting for the world to go back to some sort of normal. I mean, I'm sure we'll be waiting for a very long time before that happens. But, uh, you know, I feel with this card, I feel like this is you thinking about what happened in the past and perhaps thinking of the security of the, you know, the old days or uh, things that happened in the old days. Sometimes we look back with rose tinted glasses and this card kind of reminds us not to do that. Now, as I said, I, I got a, a feeling that there was someone returning to your life, okay? And this card is a return card, uh, someone from your past returning into your present moment. So this could be a friendship that actually uh, this person from the past, I mean, because I feel the energy in your reading, I do feel like there's someone who's got hidden feelings, okay? Now, this could be someone who has yearned to be back in your energetic sphere and wants to reach out and connect to you after all this time. Uh, whether it is 
friendship or a little bit more romantic um i'll clarify that energy but because we've got the two of cups the lovers and we've got uh, the return card here i do feel like this person does have some sort of they have love for you okay uh let me just see thank you so much for it guys got angels the hangman in the reverse you may have felt like this person was a missed opportunity okay um the three of pentacles so is in reverse so you may have felt like this person didn't want to either be with you or collaborate with you in some way you may have also felt like this person had somebody at some stage um and i feel like that's not the case anymore the nine of wands i mean it's interesting because your next step card is the nine of wands so i feel like this is something that um you may have given up on okay this is like you felt like either you gave up on this friendship or you gave up on this uh connection with this person um you felt a little bit hurt by this person a little bit wounded by this person uh, maybe even a little bit cautious about this person you may reevaluate the circumstances based on what you know about them now okay so this card is kind of like a questioning card where it's like before you take a next step take a pause um on this so everything in your reading is telling me that um, before you make the next move, you're taking a bit of a pause in April to think things through. Um, the Nine of Wands is like protecting oneself, a barrier, a threshold, as it were, um, defense system. So I feel like you're trying to leave that defensiveness in the past, but there's someone here who triggers that within you that is returning to your world. And it doesn't, it can be a family member that you haven't heard from in a while, okay? So it doesn't have to be an ex, just so you're aware. I feel like there's an energy here of let bygones be bygones, um, because I feel like this person will offer um, some sort of readdress to the situation I want to say um, the nine of wands also is about the struggle you've been struggling a lot recently to try and get something up and running whether this is your career because we've got the knight of pentacles here you know trying to uh, be really determined to succeed your hard work will be paying off but right now you may feel like it hasn't been you may have been feeling like a little bit stuck in a rut and feeling like all your hard work is it for nothing or what is what is the point with that nine of wands there um, I feel like this is about your tenacity to keep going you're the sort of person who um, even despite the circumstances uh, you don't give up and that is something that's really admirable about you my beautiful Pisces um, now they're actually showing me a golf tee uh, so if you play golf perhaps a uh, golf tee and they're showing me someone put it in the ground uh, that could be preparation for something uh to I, I don't know what do you do at golf tee like you tee off uh or you what do you do you swing you swing a golf club and you like hit something out of the park into i don't know um they just show me a golf tee so that could represent preparation for something or um this could represent precision because it's quite precise i mean it's a little ball on top of a little stick really uh you know you can tell i'm not really a goal well i'm not really a, a sporty kind of person I'll, I'll do the gym and stuff but uh you know when it comes to um precise sports i'm not really a um so i'm not really sure why they show me a golf tee so not unless you work within the golf industry or you uh, are about to um make your mark in some sort of world it doesn't have to be in golf it can be that you're about to uh, take a shot at something and it requires a lot of precision and a lot of um, you really focusing on something uh, you're actually going to get the universe is going to sort of play a part in giving you a lucky break in that so uh, whatever you feel like you have to really focus on they keep giving the word focus focus um, I feel like the universe is going to give you a lucky break that's what i just keep getting okay um now the eight of swords is above you so there is something that perhaps you're not seeing so we've got the high priestess there so there's something here that is hidden something comes to light suddenly comes to light i'm going to pull a quick card on the eight of swords because the eight of swords can also be about um feeling 
your limits or feeling like you're stuck in some way, some sort of restriction or impediment, uh, something that has been very difficult to get off the ground and it's made you feel a little bit stuck in a rut. Perhaps you've um, overthought something. Uh, when you look at the swords there, there's no threat there. Okay, she's bound, but the history of this card is she could actually release herself from her binds and see that there is no threat in the situation. But and she could release herself from denial and see things as they truly are. But it's like having the courage to face a fear in some way. Uh, let me just pull a quick card on that. Thank you so much for it, guys. For angels, can you please guide the hermit? Yeah, take some time out to think if you have to make a decision because the Two of Swords indicates a stalemate energy, having to, you know, being uncertain, considering your options. And if you're trying to make your way and sort of think which is the best route for you, whether it's in career or in love, um, I feel this is about you, or it could even be a personal decision. Um, the Hermit energy is about taking some time out without any restrictions to really focus on inside, gain your own truth and your own wisdom. Um, it's a time for enlightenment. As you can see, uh, the hermit actually has a little lantern there with a star in there, and that's about inspiration. He is called to take himself out of the rat race, as it were, to get inspiration. So I feel if you're trying to find clarity, because the star always represents clarity, then they're saying, take some time out, take a pause. It's okay. You don't have to fast track anything. See things as they truly are before you make a decision. But there's something here that you've been trying to get off the ground for a while. Um, perhaps you've been persisting for a long time. Some of you may actually return to um, a career or a hobby that um, you used to do, but it was very, very difficult. It was, uh, you know, you always had to fight to get what you want within that industry. And you may have taken some time out because you felt like it just wasn't for you at that point. Some of you may revisit it with deeper knowledge. Um, and I feel like it's actually very successful. That's what I feel. Um, now we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So in the near future, there is an offer of more money coming on in. Uh, the, the, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very hardworking. So you've, you've, you deserve this uh, money that's coming on in. You've proven your stamina, your dedication to a goal or dream. It will prove that you will be successful. This card shows your determination and your efforts will pay off for that. It is a slow moving night. So you've been you know, working diligently towards something, but it will be worth it. OK, this card is all about being real, being professional, <clears throat> excuse me, being professional and being honest and hardworking. Um, so I feel like there is an offer coming on in here for you. So for example, if some of you have been waiting, maybe you put your resume out uh, to get a new job, for example, or you're thinking about it because with the Two of Pentacles, is, sorry, the Two of Wands there is actually about um, waiting for results. So you may have put something out there that you're waiting for results before you can take action on it and sign a contract or something like that. But there's an offer coming on in here that's very lucrative for you, or you discover suddenly there is like an opportunity to earn more money or suddenly there is a new um, position available at your company or at another company and you take the opportunity to go for it and align yourself with something that actually matches your skills so, you know being paid the right money for everything that you do so uh, i feel like there's something here where you're fairly recompensed now the Advice to yourself right now is the world card. So something may be coming to an end for you. You're ending a cycle of um, overthinking, uh, ending a cycle perhaps of waiting. I feel like you're entering a new cycle where you're accomplishing something. You know, this card is a final destination card where it is reaching a goal, okay? Coming full circle and being satisfied that you did everything you could to fulfill your destiny. So I feel there is a major accomplishment that occurs in the month of April for you. And I feel it actually puts you in balance completely in the rest of your life. As you can see, that world card has got the victory read there. So this is about success. So I feel like it's almost like you keep this to yourself. So it's almost like the secret of your success brings you everything you need. You know, I feel like you attract the right people into your world. You attract the right scenarios into your world, uh, the right 
the right money. I feel like you're aligning yourself finally with your true destiny. So don't overthink this. I feel like you're on the right path. Okay. Um, also, we've got the magician card here. So the external circumstances are pretty magical. Uh, I feel like this is about your skill, your confidence. Um, I feel like you can take action and accomplish anything you set out to do, but you must focus. Okay, they keep giving this word focus, so please don't shoot the messenger. I mean, right now it could be that the camera's not focused, I'm not sure. Uh, but they just keep giving me in the water the word focus. So um, the Magician card is about your ability. It is about your talent um, and your precision. Um, so I feel like something requires your focus in April, and you're going to get it. I mean, maybe that's what it means. You're going to get it right to a T, because they're showing me a T, a golf T. So maybe it's like, Yeah, um, I'm not really sure what the golf tee thing is, but it's showing up again in the water. So um, but I'm going to have to leave that because I can't quite grasp it. Uh, I've already explained as much as I can on that. So it seems to be very, very precise. But the emperor energy is, um, sorry, not the, I said the emperor energy. Why did I say that? It's the magician. Okay, I'm going to pull a quick card on that because I'm scrying at the same time as doing a reading. So perhaps some of you are actually becoming entrepreneurs, setting up your own business or thinking about it because the Page of Swords is something maybe you're curious about there. Um, maybe this is a second stream of income. You're setting up a different business or you're, you're, you're the two of pen. I keep every time I go to the two of wands, this is the second time I've said it. I want to say the two of pentacles. So maybe this is a second stream of income that you're trying to set up and you're, you're gathering knowledge before you take action on it. The star. You stand out from the crowd. The star is clarity. Um, there's something here that's got you really curious with that page of swords. It's a new focus. Again, they keep giving this word focus. Um, it's a new focus, something you're curious about, that you may be investigating deeper, finding out how to action something before you actually do it. The um, six of wands in the reverse can mean that you're walking away from something or you feel a lack of confidence. So you are actually investigating how to do something um, You know, I feel like I'm just getting this energy, okay? Um, this is not going to resonate for everyone. It's like a boost of energy that just came out. And it's like someone It's almost like someone has got their eye on you. Someone is curious about what you're up to. And they're not confident enough yet to come forward to tell you how they feel. I just keep getting this. There's someone here that's got feelings for you. So either this is someone that you work with or someone that you know. Um, we will clarify that when I get to the love bit, but it really is bombarding the energy right now. So we've got the Four of Swords here, which is a solitary energy, someone who is, um, you know, resting, retreated, someone who is retreated and is thinking things over. And then we've got the moment of clarity. Something comes to light with the star energy. So. I keep getting that energy, it's popping up there, so I thought I'd mention it before I move on. Um, but in terms of you personally, Pisces, I feel like you are curious about how to inspire your circumstances or how to uh, look at what you do in a different way, how to reignite that passion for what you do. So I feel some of you may be looking further afield for a new job or be searching for inspiration. And I feel the simple answer is to take some time out and rest. You know, take your foot off the gas a little bit and step back and see um, what is next. Map your progress, okay? But the external circumstances um, is the universe. You know, things that you have no control over and you've got the magician card there, which basically means that you are manifesting what you truly desire. You know, you are turning your dreams into reality using inspired action and you have everything you need within you to do that, okay? Um, we've also got the Queen of Pentacles here. This is a hope and a fear. So making more money is a hope. Uh, being able to perhaps buy a home or uh, sort of redecorate your home in some way or um, 
be resourceful with your money, perhaps to save it for a rainy day. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who multiplies her money, someone who starts with a plan, sticks to the plan, is committed and actually achieves her goals. She is true to what she wants to do and overcomes any challenges and is very successful at multiplying uh, financial luck. So I feel like you are going to be doing that in the month of April. Um, the fear here is to be dependent, financially dependent. So perhaps you've been worrying about something. Um, if you have lost your job, for example, my beautiful Pisces, not everybody, I've got a small pocket of energy coming through. If you lost a job or you're looking for a job, there is one coming on in that actually will bring more money than you expected. Uh, you'll be able to save for a rainy day, but I feel like there's fear here at the perhaps the amount of time it is taking to get the job to offer to come on in and you may feel like you're running out of money or resources um i feel like just under the wire there's an opportunity for a new job coming through okay just so you're aware that actually makes you be able to be like whoo uh, breathe again okay so i'm sending you a huge lot of love out there if that's you um that's not going to resonate for everyone of course um I feel with this card, this is a card of, it's a card of abundance, it's a card of conservation, it's a card of wealth um, and comfort, uh, but you may be really connecting to the home space a little bit more. Um, some of you may be actually trying to get a second stream of income up and running um, and work from home uh, because I feel like you may Try to find a way. I've got a little knock there on my radiator. I don't know if you heard that. Um, it's not even on, so I'm not sure why there was a knock there. Um, but yeah, I feel some of you are wanting to work from home and I feel like you're going to get an opportunity to do so and there's going to be more money coming on in. So for example, you, you know, because we've got some king energy here, um, if you're starting up your own business, you may be walking away from something that just doesn't work for you anymore, uh, isn't rewarding for you anymore, and you're following your heart. The King of Cups is someone who's got a lot of uh, love and energy to give a situation, someone who um, is a natural sort of born leader, someone who uses their innate wisdom to connect to their heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just get this energy of something and I, I keep losing my voice here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about, it's only when I touch the cards. It's like there's something here that's not being said. So whether you've got a new opportunity already lined up and you're not telling anybody about it, but you're about to walk away from something or you're hoping to do that, work from home, um, earn money doing something that you love. Uh, I feel like this is something that may have caused you a few sleepless nights worrying whether it will happen and whether it will uh, be lucrative the answer is yes it will be very successful okay um the king of cups i feel is about there's an energy of composure here uh you know the king of cups tends to uh, feel very very comfortable sitting on the throne uh despite all the water being sort of um splashed around there's like tumultuous seas behind the king of water all the time and he sits there comfortable knowing that he is a beacon of stability even in the most um troubled of waters so i feel this is about you protecting your vision protecting what you're trying to achieve and using your initiative and your intuition in order to get what you want out of life Okay, you have a lot of love to give. This is a Scorpio energy, but it's still a water card. So it tells me that you're trying to follow your heart and your vision and you will be very successful. There's a lot of financial reward that is attached to that. Um, but it may require you walking away from something that is just not rewarding because the um, the world card says there's a new cycle. So you're maybe ending a cycle at one space in order to open yourself up to something new. And that eight of cups is like, seeking greater meaning, going on a journey of discovery, letting go of things that just don't seem to matter anymore or do not resonate with your heart space any longer. So I feel like you're choosing another path that is right for you instead of one that seems likely to draw you into 
something just for the money, for example. I feel like you're being true to your heart rather than just go after money, for example, okay? Um, now, in terms of love, I feel like there is, if you're seeking love, I feel like you meet someone out of the blue. If you've been waiting for love for a long time, because that two of wands is someone who waits for a new cycle to occur, I feel like you may have been let down in love before. Uh, th there may have even been a separation that occurred. Um, I feel like this person, I mean, the Six of Cups can mean that you are longing uh, or looking back at a relationship in some way and working out how um, you had a lot of defensive uh, defenses up or how that relationship made you feel defensive. Uh, and I feel like you're trying to open yourself up to love again, okay? Um, and I feel like there is someone coming on in here, someone new who is coming on in that actually you will build a home with this person. I feel like you and this person can enter a new cycle of respect, love, dedication um, with each other. And uh, I feel like you've waited a long time for this offer to come on in. Um, but I feel you have to walk away from something. I feel like it's definitely you're walking away from a past situation that was not emotionally fulfilling. Uh, perhaps someone who had, um, that you're abandoning now or you're tr retreating from because you felt like this person had some sort of, they were not invested in the relationship as much as you, but you're, you're actually gaining someone who shows you so much love. This could be a Scorpio who comes into your world. It could also be, I feel, someone with uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well there. Uh, someone who actually wears their heart on their sleeve. Someone who knows what they want in terms of love. And I feel like, I'm going to pull a quick card on that Eight of Cups. Because I feel like you know what you want now. You know your heart. You know that you desire something better. The tower energy. Okay. Um, I feel like you will shock. Whoever you're walking away from. I feel like you will shock them. That's for sure. Um, also I feel like someone's got. They've, they've got feelings for you. Thank you so much Spirit Wise Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces. They want one more. I saw that one pop out. But they want another. Thank you so much, Spirit God, Spirit and Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much. The Queen of Swords and the Empress in the reverse. So, again, if you were dealing with someone from the past who had somebody else or, um, you know, in the separation period went for a karmic or something like that, I feel like this person does come to talk to you, okay? Or tries to reconnect in some way. Uh, I feel like you're going to surprise them because I feel like you're not you're not you're not investing in this, especially with the Empress in reverse there. I feel like um, with this person, you neglected your own needs. You felt disconnected. Uh, the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're trying to take love out of the situation with this person. You're trying to be logical with this person. Um, and the five of wands in the reverse tells me that this a person wants to resolve problems. They want harmony. So they may just come back to relieve their conscience in some way. And it may shock you that you've heard from this person after such a long time. Um, but this person didn't make you feel like you were enough. This person didn't make you feel like you were... Don't shoot the messenger when I say this, my beautiful Pisces. This is part of this situation from a past situation that made you feel like you're unlovable, okay? And you've been defensive ever since. So they're just showing me here that this person may arise again in your life, but they, they left nothing but disappointment, okay, uh, in love. It was a real test of faith in love is what they're giving me. But there is someone new coming on in here that is everything you ever wish for. You're going to have a choice because the lover's card is the choice card. So there will be a choice when it comes to love. But I feel like... You're waiting for that king energy, that king of cups. Anything else just doesn't cut it. So I feel you are going to receive the love that you truly desire. I'm going to pull a quick card and see if I can find out where you may meet this new person. Because the Will of Fortune suggests it's going to be a surprise. It's just out of the blue you meet this person. Uh, thank you. Maybe at a spiritual retreat, they just said. A uh, spiritual retreat there. Uh, we've got the Page of Swords. We've got the Four of Swords. And <laughs> wow, we've got the same cards all over again. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. There's someone here, you know, I, I seriously think, I seriously think, my beautiful Pisces, that actually you've already met this person. Um, now, either this is someone that you know from the past that is going to be at this event, 
and you know maybe it was a missed opportunity this person's been thinking about you all the time this person's in a solitary energy uh they feel like they're not coming forward uh, because we got the page of swords again when i'm trying to describe the new person so i feel like this is someone who who already knows you uh maybe has already messaged you but i feel like it's someone who's curious about what you're up to um, we got the four swords there. So this person is in a solitary energy. They're taking some time out. They're resting and they're gaining clarity. We've got a six of wands there. So this person isn't quite messaging you at this. Well, they could have messaged you one or two messages. Or they're going to surprise. They're going to like pop up in your world at an event that you're at. And then you're going to have lots of messages from this person. But the, the six of wands indicates that this person. They retreated. They may not they may have not told you how they feel they retreated before they were about to but i feel like they're really invested in the relationship and this is a relationship that perhaps you could see yourself marrying this person okay uh because the, the ten of pentacles can connect to marriage uh, let's go one more with another deck just to clarify this is someone this is someone who you it's like basically i get this energy that you're going to bump into someone along your path in April and towards the end of April as well where you've known this person before not from a past life I'm talking about this life you know this person and you may not have seen this person for a very long time and there's instant chemistry between you and this person Queen of Swords popping out again different deck thank you so much Spirit Guides Grand Angels the world card You're entering a new cycle. Ten of Pentacles, again. Not You're getting all the same cards. So there's, that you definitely will be speaking to somebody new. They want you to have faith that it's not going to be the same as the last relationship that broke your heart. That's what they're giving me, okay? Queen of Swords is um, someone who's very logical, who doesn't want to display their feelings okay someone who's very self-sufficient comes across as not needing anybody um and i feel the world kind of indicates you'll be in the right moment the right time the right moment to meet the right person so it's like someone from your past coming back it doesn't have to be an ex i actually feel like it's not an ex i feel like an ex will reach out but it's not that person i feel like you actually shock that person and say i'm not doing this again i'm over that cycle is over but I feel there's someone here from your past that you know. You may have worked with this person in the past. You may have been at college with this person. I feel like this person has sweet memories of you and is thinking about you. And then all of a sudden, your paths collide. Okay? And I feel like you may be a little bit defensive at first, but I feel like you're going to be all in. Okay? Let's get a Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like you're all in. And this can be something really truly that you invest in for the long-term future okay uh, as i said these readings uh, for the month are not meant to be about love but as it's come up i will address it uh, but financially very rewarding month to get a ten of pentacles twice as well in your reading as well as the queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles a lot of financial reward in the month of april um Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels but i feel like you've worked really hard for this uh i trust my issue intuition is one of the final cards, I trust in divine timing, which is that Wheel of Fortune energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Uh, they want one more. And I am a problem solver, okay? So if you've been going through any difficulties regards to finances, I feel like you find a way. Um, I trust my intuition. This is a card you're meant to remember over the month of April. Also, I trust in divine timing. So things will show up in the right time for you, in the right order. You're going to be in the right place, the right time to receive what is meant for you. Because what is meant for you will never pass you by, okay? Um, and we've got, I am a problem solver. As you can see, the little maze there as like a halo. So I feel like you will think this through. Don't overthink it, but you will find a way. To get where you want to go and you can see a little star there on her cheek so you're going to be inspired and uh it's number 38 they want you to be aware it's number 38 when you reduce it three plus eight is 11 the number of the soul path so i feel like you will be on the right path so if you're questioning your path something that you've been waiting for is going to show up 
just out of the blue. And it's everything you wish for and more is what I'm getting. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonated for you. I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. So we've got the owl there. So this is about knowledge, uh, perhaps coming to light. Um, you know, owls, they're very wise. They see everything, they say nothing. So I feel like there's again this energy of something that is hidden comes to light. So someone revealing their feelings or a, an opportunity that comes your way, a lucky break which you keep to yourself and then reveal it later on. Um, but I feel like you're seeing a bit of a bird's eye view of your life and getting the bigger picture. Oh, interesting. They want this on the Eight of Cups. So this is about your innate knowledge. This is about knowledge to um, that deep knowing of what to walk away from. If it's not rewarding, really listen to your intuition. If it doesn't really connect to your heart space, let it go. Okay. And also we've got the Wheel of Fortunes. Yeah, the, we got the Wheel of Fate there. Okay, as well, which is a directional gauge. Uh, for a ship so I feel like you're navigating the high seas but I feel there's going to be a lucky break here um, they want this on the wheel of fortune that highlights you're on the right path towards success okay I feel like you are also making your own luck but the universe is meeting you halfway uh, you're prepared for this so get ready for this uh, I'll leave it there I hope something resonated in this reading for you quite complex energy uh, for the water elements this month uh, I'm not really sure why but that's what's happening so um, if something does resonate here for you please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me and also if you'd like to be in the chance to win a free personal reading all you have to do is sit on the edge of your bed every morning when you wake up just take a couple of moments before you, you know, leave uh, the bed, as it were, and feel gratitude for everything uh, that you have so far. Thank the universe for it. Um, thank the universe for everything that you have and have. Uh, and thank the universe for everything that is yet to come, because your gratitude will attract more things to be grateful for. OK, so all you have to do in the comments box below is put this sentence. I have an attitude of gratitude and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of uh, April and I'll announce the winner in a video upload only. Okay, thank you so much my beautiful Pisces. Love and light.